Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link. And good morning for those who they are in East and in Asia, in Asia uh, Indonesia, Philippines, India. And for sure, good evening for those who they are in USA. And soon we will have people from Europe start coming the morning for them. A Muslim he posted, and he is trying to stalk me in, uh, in Patreon. And by the way, I encourage all the Muslims, try your best because you always inspire us to get your prophet, the prophet of the Abdul Busted. This person, his name Ziyad or Zayed Kiyani. Jesus not coming back. I feel sorry for you because obviously you are not a Muslim because your prophet said Jesus is coming back. Muhammad he swear by by his God the devil saying by him in whose hand is my life the son of Mary will soon descend among you as just judge and he will break the cross kill the swine and abolish the jizya and the worth will be poured forth to such extent no one will accept it now I will go back to what your prophet said but before we go back I mean before we continue with your prophet saying getting your busted from the title I will go back a little bit for what you said chapter 5 verse 116 it says and be aware the day this is between two bracket when Allah will say oh Jesus son of Mary did you say to your people to take me and my mother as deities beside Allah here right away you see that your God is a stupid God because not a single Christian Protestant Catholic and Orthodox they do not and they never heard of a Trinity contain Mary we respect Mary we love Mary but we don't worship Mary and she is not part of the Trinity and if we read the Holy stupid Quran we will not find one verse where Allah quote that the Trinity contain the Holy Spirit which means the God of Islam is a stupid at the point he could not understand what the Trinity for the Christian is he think that we worship Jesus and his mother in fact the Quran confirm that according to Islam we Christian believe that Allah he got married from Mary and they have a son and he is a son of God and this has shown us the stupidity and how much Muhammad is a false prophet for because he could not even understand what a Christian is about because not a single Christian believe in such a garbage and this is why we see that here the verse is speaking about Allah and Jesus and Mary are the Trinity for Islam so he says here clearly that they took Jesus and his mother Mary beside Allah which means the Trinity clear here according to Muhammad is Allah Mary and Jesus and yet you are trying to refute us from a stupid guy who could not even understand what the Trinity is about I mean why Muhammad did not even say the Christian they say they believe in the God the Father the Son the Holy Spirit what is the Holy Spirit he never heard of it and instead Muhammad he said that the Holy Spirit according to you Muslims is Jibreel so look at this funny person his name is Muhammad he claimed to be a prophet inspired by God but he never re received inspiration all what we see in a front of us is a delivery by the pizza guy <clears throat> You see the Quran says it is nothing but inspiration but the Muhammad never received inspiration which means even Muhammad do not know how to use Arabic words or his God supposedly Aka Allah Aka Muhammad he is a stupid to the point you do not know what you mean because you is exactly the same as the word inspire who is the Muslim want to show me where Muhammad was inspired Muhammad he received revelation by an angel who squeezed him and that is not an inspiration you idiot so if your God neither in Arabic neither in English he can make himself clear and he says stupid things if a postman he come to my house and give me a message 
that will not make it inspiration how silly how stupid this cult is and then if you read the verses here with us it says the Muslims they corrupt the Quran and they added one verse in the beginning it says in the name of Allah the most gracious the most merciful but as you see it's not number one why because simply it's not in the Quran this is their corruption and then you see Allah the God of the world he's swearing by the star <laughs> I mean your God is against worshiping stars but he swear by the stars and he swear by the star when it goes down the stars don't go down it's very stupid of you to think that the stars go down go down where on earth so the God of Islam he think that the meteor are of foreign stars so a Muhammad who is false prophet claiming that Allah is talking saying that Allah swear by the stars when it goes down and why you swear by the stars when they go down what about when they go up or what about when they sit or what about when they sleep or what about when they fart this is how silly this cult is what kind of God he swear by a star what a star is for God what a star a star is not even a dust for God I mean why, why God want to swear by star but the God of Islam don't be surprised in different places in the Quran he swear even by the fig have you ever heard of a God he swear by fig and olive <laughs> and you notice here with us that this God when he speak about uh, uh, about inspiration you will see it says your companion is neither astray nor being mislead misled why Allah saying that about Muhammad because people they start making fun of him because this guy is not receiving uh, messages from his God remember when Waraq ibn Nufal died Muhammad he tried to commit suicide so now Muhammad he was trying to make himself look better so he said oh my, my God he just gave me a verse and then he says nor did, does he say of his own desire okay it is no less than inspiration sent down I challenge the Muslim to show me how the inspiration work inspiration like me right now I'm talking to you God inspire me to do something to say something if a man come to me and he squeezed me and he told me something that is not inspiration that is revelation God will reveal to me let us say through the angel no problem an angel come to me and he told me something that's the delivery a revelation but this is not inspiration so here you notice when Muhammad he says this this uh, this statement he exposed himself when he says it is no less an inspiration sent to him down he was taught by one mighty in power if we ask the Muslims who is the one one mighty in power they will say Jibreel so how this is an inspiration and how this is Jibreel and how Jibreel is one mighty in power I thought the mighty in power who is one is God endued with his wisdom for he appeared in a stately form while he was in the high part of the horizon then actually he is not he did not say uh, approach down this is a false translation it says he like he uh, I, I, we talked about it before trying to find the word in, in English uh, like you know when you are uh, holding a rope and you you go down with a rope this is exactly it says then and then he was in a distance but two bow length or rearier but this is stupid because as we know Muhammad he said that he saw the angel who covered the whole horizon the whole horizon was covered by by Jibreel so how he get close to him to uh, to, to bow how such a creature can get close to you in such a distance because if he get close to you that much he will he will smash you if you go in the hadith you will find the following <clears throat> let us see where muhammad 
so the angel <clears throat> All right. Actually, this hadith here explains the same chapter we are talking about. The chapter of the meaning saying that Allah, the might supreme, and indeed he saw him at second descent another time. And did the Prophet so, S A W S C C S U S U see the Lord in the night of Isra? Hold on. So the question here is what? What did he saw Allah? I said to Aisha, what about the words of Allah? Then he drew night and came down. So he was at the distance of two bows or a closer till he revealed to his servant what he revealed. Quran chapter 8, 10. Sorry, the same chapter we're reading from, verse number 8 and 10. She said, it implies Jibreel. He used to come to him in a shape of a man, but he come at that time in a true form and blocked up the horizon of the sky. So how a person who blocked the horizon of the sky, he came to Mecca and nobody saw him except Muhammad. How a person in the size who can block the sky, he came down to the city of Mecca and yet not, not a single person was able to see him this guy if he move actually muhammad in different hadith he says he have 600 wings so look what we have here we have a, a, a creature who is in the size at least like maybe 200 kilometer coming down to earth in a small town village does does not have more than like maybe a, a hundred house and nobody in the whole village so such a huge creature creature and look here Aisha how she got her prophet busted She said he came to her, to Muhammad in a shape of a man But yet he is blocking the horizon So imagine guys we have a man a man In the size which can block the horizon and nobody saw him That is a miracle by itself It's like we brought something bigger than a mountain, a lot bigger, the Himalaya, and we put it in the front of a small tiny village. And this Himalaya get closer and closer and closer until there is two meters away. And yet nobody in the village, he saw that mountain. If this guy, he woke, the earth will be shaking. So when you witness to me about Jesus, Abdul, go and ask yourself how stupid the stories of your prophet and who can believe it? Jesus, when he speaks, there is witnesses. There is thousands of people they see. When Muhammad, he speaks, there's nobody. Even his wife, she did not see the angel. Now, if we go to what this Abdul, he said in chapter 5, 116, when Allah will say, O oh Jesus, son of Mary, did you say to the people, take me and my mother? Jesus, he says here to Allah, are you stupid or what? He says to him, it is you who knows. So why are you asking me? Do you see how stupid the question is? The Muslims, they make fun in the Bible when it says that God, he asked Adam, where are you? It is not right for God in the Bible to say, where are you, Adam? God, he knows where Adam is asking him. You know, you know why you are hiding, right? Because you commit sin. But Allah asking Jesus. And by the way, supposedly this is a, a question will happen in the judgment day. Why in the judgment day? Jesus right now is in heaven. Allah don't have time to ask him now. What does that mean? This is stupid. Secondly, for sure Jesus will say, I did not tell them to take me and my mother because Jesus did not say that to us, you idiot. 
Show me where Jesus said in the Bible that take me and my mother as God. He never said that. We cannot find anywhere in the Bible such a phrase. Same here. The Muslim he explained to us, he says, Allah informs Jesus what people have been saying in his absence. How stupid you are. Allah is informing Jesus in the judgment day. While Jesus is alive now. Huh? Don't you think this is a very late news? And then look at this guy he said here, which make it more 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 beautiful. I said not to them except you command me to worship Allah, my Lord and your Lord. <laughs> Jesus saying, I told them nothing to worship except my uh, uh, Allah, my Lord and your Lord. <laughs> Question, so how come we cannot find the word Allah in the Bible? I know, I know. You will tell me in the Arabic Bible translation, they use the word Allah. That is a translation, Abdul. Why Jesus did not use the word Allah? The Muslim they go and they call they 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 cut a part from a, a, a Egyptian movie about the Passion of Christ where Jesus says Ila Ila, but this is not Allah. Al La is different word. Al is a word meaning God. La is the moon God. And here you notice with me. When the Muslims try to explain, he said, Allah took Jesus P P B U H on Himself, in honor and degree. Everybody be witness over what is being said to Jesus on the day of judgment. Hold on, hold on. So Allah He took Jesus to honor Him. Why? So are you saying to me He did not take Muhammad because He don't want to honor Him? That's a good sign from you, Muhammadan. So when God he takes Jesus to heaven, that is because he honored Jesus. When Allah he let Muhammad be in dump in the hole and he rounded in the ground, and even the hadith says that his belly be <coughs> became full of farts. Even his fingers became and his nails became a green. To the point Ibn Abbas he said, Itfunu sahibakum yasanu kama yasun al -bashar. Bury your friend, he is a stinky, like all a human, they stink, which means after death. So you confirmed that Jesus is being honored and in heaven, and Muhammad, he stink and he is in the ground. The question is why? Now we go back to what your prophet said. Here you notice with me, I don't know how many of you noticed the first thing here. What is the first mistake in this phrase uh, of Muhammad, guys? What is the first mistake? Anyone notice what is the first mistake in this hadith in the front of us on the screen? Let us see if you guys are thinking with me. What is the first mistake we see here? Anyone notice? Actually, it's a false prophecy, not a mistake. No. Look, Muhammad here first. He swear in Arabic. Let us show you in Arabic first. It says, Liyushikunna. He swear by Allah that the Messiah is coming very, very soon. It's almost in the, in the door. Liyushikna. It's like almost there. And Muhammad here he says in the, in the Muslim translation by him who is my hand the hand is my life the son of Mary will soon descend among you the fact it doesn't say soon it says extremely soon almost there but this was 1400 years ago then you will see the other stupid thing Muhammad he said the Muslim they say that Allah he asked he will ask Jesus did you say to your people to worship me and my mother Jesus will say no I did not say that as the Abdul he said in the post but look what happened 
if Jesus is coming back as a judge are you saying to me the judge he is a judge but he is not he is not he's not informed he do not know what people do in order for Jesus to be judged for all mankind he have to be God because only God can be just and judge because justice only happened by God for he can read your heart you can hide yours you cannot hide your sin you cannot hide your crimes so the only one who can give just is God and as you see Jesus in the Bible he says that he will judge the world when he come and this is here Muhammad in total agreement that Jesus is the absolute judge for he is the absolute perfect person who can judge which means he's God now I challenge all the Abdul who they are watching to tell us how Jesus can be judge for mankind and how he can be just it's very easy to judge I can judge but it's impossible for man to be just for he is out of perfection so Muhammad here he proved to us again that Jesus have a special features and what is the feature of Jesus what is the unique about him number one he is in heaven number two he will come down number three he is the just number four he is the judge number five the Muslim Muhammad Isa is silly look Isa the Muslim he will come and he will have a fight with the pig so according to Muslim their silly Isa they call him Isa he will hold in a uh, uh, he will hold in maybe a gun a cowboy gun let us show you how silly Muhammad is so Isa will judge the whole world okay and Isa is absolute just that's wonderful but Isa he have a problem he need to find Mr. Pig and kill him. So let us say that this is Isa. This is Mr. Isa, the Muslim Isa. Okay, this is Isa. And now Isa is coming from the seventh heaven. And he have a sword in his hand. Takbir Allahu Akbar, Takbir Allahu Akbar, and then a pig he will appear from this side. And Isa he will say to him, Submit to Islam or I will kill you. And then the pig he will say, I'm sexy and I know it. And I will not convert to Islam. So Isa will take the sword and will attack the pig. I mean, who is the stupid God we are talking about? Jesus is alive until then, so he can fight the pig. And who is that, Mr. Pig? And why he is so, I mean, wh why he's scary? And which pig? In the Philippines alone, there's 50 million pig. In China, there's a billion pig. In America, there's maybe, uh, uh, I don't know how many million pig. Which pig? So look how impossible the mission of Asa. He will bring his sword and he will start looking. Are you are you the pig Allah spoke about? The pig is saying, no, not me. Ask the neighbor. And then Asa, he go to the second pig and he asked him, are you the pig which Allah, he sent me to kill you? He says, no, not me. Go to the second pig. Which pig? Allah will kill the pig. The one who wrote this he have a brain of a pig and his tail is longer this is the only difference between them who is the stupid when I believe in such a garbage and not only that brother in the time of the judgment day money will be in the street why population is getting less where is the money coming from we are going to have a, a, the, the fountain of money Muhammad making a prophecy that by the time of the judgment day when Isa come Money will be everywhere and nobody will take it. Why? 
What is that? I mean, how stupid is that? And then don't forget, Isa have to kill the he have to kill the crosses. What a crosses? By the way, in Arabic, it doesn't say crosses, it says the cross. Which a cross? What a cross? But because Muhammad, he considered the cross is the biggest enemy for him. He hated. So when a Muhammad and he try to defend Islam, quoting for us from a stupid Quran, copy paste. Not only he show us that Islam is a stupid, he show us that Muhammad is a false prophet. Soon Jesus will descend, and that soon was fourteen hundred years ago. And actually, it doesn't say soon, as we showed you, Liu Shikna, which is almost here. When a Muslim he try to prove to us something, the first question we ask ourselves. Okay, this guy is posting all those things from us. Where the source? Guys, do you know where the source coming from? Where is the source coming from? All those things. And look at this story here about the, the door of the heaven will be open. <laughs> where is the source? One guy, he himself, he never spoke to Allah. He never met with Allah. He never even heard the fart of Allah. In the top of that, he, this guy, he imagined himself speaking to God or speaking to, or sorry, speaking to angels or having even sex, but in fact, he never did. Look what the hadith said. That Muhammad, and this is from Islamic resource, he was mentally ill. Once was the prophet, the prophet was bewitched. The prophet what? Was bewitched. So Muslims, if I say the, the bewitched prophet, are you going to be upset? I'm sure you will be upset. But you are the one who call him bewitched, not me. The bewitched prophet is the one is telling you what happened and what will happen in the judgment day? Don't you think that this is stupid? That we are going to take the words of the bewitched prophet. Let us make the text thicker. Hmm? So the bewitched prophet, bees upon him, is the source of all this information. Who is the crazy to listen and to believe to someone, the Muslims, they call him bewitched prophet. Do you understand, guys? How we can believe in someone who the muslims his wife his family his followers they confirm that he is a bewitched prophet so the bewitched prophet who is bewitched who imagined that he saw something but in fact he did not who imagined that he had done a thing but in fact he did not who imagined he ate a cucumber, but in fact it was his finger. Who imagined that he had sex with his wife, but in fact it was the pillow. This guy who imagined is the one who will tell us he saw an angel. So what is the proof that he was imagining? Or what is the proof he was not imagining? Are you listening, Muslims? So you bring us a person, you call him the bewitched prophet, and the bewitched prophet will tell us the truth. Well, only stupid bewitched people will believe in the bewitched prophet, my friend. Because if this prophet was a prophet, his God will not let him bewitch. And we can prove that from the stupid Quran. 
Listen carefully. Who is the one who do bewitched the black magic, the devil? All the Muslims agree on that. But the Quran says that only criminals, bad ones, filthy ones, shaitan have power over them. If we go in the Quran, <laughs> I feel sorry for this Abdul. And he copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. You know, I was busy yesterday, so I did not really uh, have time to to get him busted. But it's okay. I mean, a lot of potatoes. Hmm? In chapter fifteen, verse number forty-two, it says the following. And by the way, chapter 7, verse 175, it says the same. But we will go to chapter 15, verse number 42. The Quran says, For over my servant you have no authority except those who put themselves in the wrong and follow thee. And by the way, the translation is false. al gawin is not those who put themselves in the wrong, those who they are filthy criminals. Allah speaking to who? He speak to Shaitan, Iblis. Allah said to Iblis, "Over my servant, you have no authority except those who follow thee." Change the translation, and you will see how the translation translator, I mean, and how the translation automatically changed upside down. Certainly, you shall have no authority over my slaves except those who follow you. Raween, between two brackets, Mushrikeen, those who go astray, criminals, etc., evildoers. So, in order for shaitan or a black magic to be put in Muhammad, he have to fit with one at least of this category. Do you see how easy to get Muhammad busted from his book? So the Abdul, he copy-paste, copy-paste, copy-paste from a stupid book, which is very easy to get bust. Why Shaitan was not able to put a black magic in Jesus? What about Moses? What about Abraham? Why only Muhammad was so weak? And how Muhammad, he says, that Shaitan, he cannot do to anyone, anything like this, except the criminals. The evil doers, the mushrikeen, the one who is false. Very clear verse. The answer is if this verse is telling the truth, there's one of two options. Either this verse is a lie, or Muhammad is the liar. Because the verse says clearly, certainly you shall not have no authority over my slaves. So not only Muhammad should be protected from black magic, any good believer, he should be protected. But as you see, the wife of the Prophet and the Muslims, they agree that Muhammad, he was controlled by the black magic to the point he, they call him bewitched. In different hadith, the Muslim, they say, that even the prophet, even his sex was false. Read carefully. The prophet continued for such and such a period, imagining that he had nikah, sexual intercourse, with his wives, but in fact he did not. And then in the rest of the story, they say to you that uh, some Jews they put a black magic on him by taking some hair mostly from his butt but how such a thing can happen even muhammad he says here read carefully muhammad he said what's wrong with me sorry the, the angel he came to muhammad and one of them he asked the other one what's wrong with this man which means obviously there's something wrong with this man and what's wrong they found that he was controlled by a black magic by a person his name is Lubaid ibn al-Asam. We do not know how long, 
But who care? Who care? I don't care really for how long. I believe all his life he was like that. This is just a story to cover his ass. Because his madness became out of control. You see, all kind of mental illness uh, have stages. So Muhammad, obviously, he have a mental illness since the beginning. But by aging, his mental illness is increasing. And always the Arab in order to cover the ass of, uh, you know, to solve a problem. They don't know. They are, not, they are not doctors. They don't know what's happening. What they know that this person, he do uh, strange, uh, act, act strange. And they can't explain that except that this is black magic. So the Arab always, when somebody acts crazy, they say somebody put a spill on him. They don't understand that this is not have nothing to do with any. But we will go with the Muslims. Because if the Muslims is the one, not us, speaking about that this is was Muhammad and their black magic. And the Quran confirmed that black magic cannot control any good servant of Allah. Only, only the bad faithy ones. They, they can be controlled by black magic. That means Muhammad is not a prophet of God. Not only the prophet of God, he is an evil doer. He is a criminal, as you see. You see, we are using the Muslim reference, not our logic. I believe that Muhammad, I don't believe Muhammad was uh, under black, I don't believe in black magic. But Allah teaches in the Quran that he sent two angels who had sex with the women her name is as Zahra, which in English or in the Greek language, Venus. And when they have sex with her, they Allah He sent them down to teach magic. If you remember, do you guys remember the story? If you go in the Quran, you will see what it says: Wa Harut wa Marut. Harut and Marut our two angels are sent by Allah down to open a school anyone remember where what is the location of the school where was the location of the school <clears throat> and here you will notice how stupid the cult of Islam again Allah himself he opened a school for Hori Potter am I saying the name correctly Hori Potter <laughs> so Allah he sent two angels one his name is Harut and the other one his name is Marut and the purpose of sending them is to teach magic and why he want to teach magic because he want uh to open school to teach magic so a man and his wife they will fight Ima imagine look at that look at the silly and stupidity the purpose of this black magic to make the man and the wife fight <laughs> so Allah he sent two angels and they laid they land down where as usual in the baby lawn why the baby lawn Anyone knows why the baby lawn? Who knows why the baby lawn? What the reason Muhammad he chose the baby lawn? Because this, the foolish Muhammad, he accepts stories which is coming from the old days that the baby lawn was built by angels where the angels so they can come down from the sky, the tower of the baby lawn. So Muhammad, he thought about it. Okay, the angels will come where? Okay, the story says they come in the Babylon. Okay, we put it in the Quran. He took the story from stupid people around him. He put it in the Quran, and now he mixed it with Suleiman. And now we have a mixed story between Suleiman, the Jewish prophet, and we have Shaitan is part of the story. And we have two angels. Their name is Harut and Marut. And then those two angels were sent by Allah to teach magic. And look what the Quran says to those two angels Harut and Marut what they do read carefully but this but shaitan devils disbelieve teaching man this magic and such a thing that came down to the Babylon 
to the two angels Harut and Marut but those two angels taught anyone such a thing till they had say disclaimer disclaimer we are only for a trial so disbelieve not disbelieve not what stupid what's wrong with you you are teaching the magic black magic to harm people and you are saying disclaimer look at the disclaimer how stupid it is we are only for a trial so disbelieve not by learning magic from us and from those angels people learn that by which they cause separation between the wife and the husband what so Allah he sent to angels but okay, let me let me explain it to you in an Urdu language excuse me brother sister Allah he sent to angel one is named Ad Harut and the other one is named Marut and they are very sexy angels and in their way down they saw a woman she is very beautiful and she had two nipples and women nipples at that time are different from the nipple today and this woman she tried to seduce them and she is very sexy and you know it and she said to them I will sleep with you only if you give me the bath word for the heaven oh, by the way I'm not picking things up that's what the Muslim believe that when Allah he sent us to angels to open a school of Harry Potter they met with the women her name is Zahra which mean in, in in the Latin language Venus you know the planet Venus the same exact story actually we post before a, 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 a site I don't know if any of have it but please post it if any of you have the site about the story so we can show it in the screen in English so this woman who her name is Zahra which is Venus she said to the two angels of Allah Harut and Marut I will take off my panty for you they ask her can we sleep with you I mean angels they sleep with a woman eh, let it go so she told them I will sleep with you if you drink wine if you kill this child and if you bow down to my gods in the beginning the angels they hesitated and then the story to make it short they gave her the password and the password to go to heaven there is a password yeah yeah there is a password you know like it's a virtual thing I mean uh, like uh, like a cyber internet so they gave her the password to go to heaven but the second they gave her the password the brother Allah he heard it so he let Venus go up in the sky and when she arrived in the middle of the sky he cursed her this woman and she became a planet and if there is any Muslim will say this is not true challenge me and I will show you the reference right now so we have a stupid religion believe that Venus was a woman have sex with two angels of Allah Allah who sent two angels to teach Hori Buter magic and this religion is the one will teach us about Jesus and by the way in case you do not know the first time Muhammad he mentioned the story about Suleiman here Later, we will see that Muhammad, he mentioned that Suleiman, he have a ring. So the Lord of the ring, actually, it is maybe the idea is coming from, uh, you know, not we cannot say from Muhammad, it's coming from the legion of the Jews. The Jews, they have tons of stories, but they themselves, they don't believe in it. They're just fictions for kids. So Muhammad, he accept what the Jews, they say in their kids' stories, and he make it as part of his God religion. And then he added spies to it. So we will see later that uh, Suleiman, he have genie, and by the way, genie is coming from in heritage of the East uh, countries like India and Persia and etc. Uh, um, by the way, genie are not the same as demons. Like uh, today, actually, uh, brother Sam Shamon he says uh, demon. I, I'm sure he don't, you know. You know that this is not the, the, the correct description genies are not demon they are creatures who they are uh, uh, made from fire demon are uh, evil spirit they are not creatures in the way of a body or physical so if you go in the in the Quran you will see later that Suleiman uh, who has a, a, a has a ring in his hand the string he gave him the power to control all the satans in the world and those satans they work for him 
and their job is to build for him synagogue and palaces and even they made a statues in those you see here the translation look look the just show you how the Muslims they lie in the translation look the word in Arabic it says yeah by the way the word yeah is stupid in Arabic you cannot you don't say that this is the very very I mean this is not really a good language what the word I mean anyone ask any Arabic person you will see Tamathil mean statues but if we look at the translation we don't see it change the translator as simple as that this is Yusuf Ali go to the front one look we just change the translator the word statues appear and here we ask ourselves how Muhammad he destroyed 365 or 60 uh, statues around the Kaaba while Allah he ordered Suleiman to control the genie and the genie they are building statues for Suleiman I thought the statues is haram and not only those genies I mean the story of Suleiman is amazing Suleiman here he have as I see in the story here he have a flying carpet too according to the tafsir the flying carpet fit for 600,000 chairs and all his kingship equipment you can say that the flying carpet contained millions of people and horses and camels and donkeys all of this in a flying carpet so a person who believe in such a garbage he come to our site and he pose for us about what is right and what is wrong and what happened to Jesus go and bury yourself with 1000 blanket cover your shame the one who teaching us that God he sent Suleiman a flying carpet he is not the one we will listen to that is a stupid story the God who says to us Suleiman he fly in a, in a flying horse have two wings this is cannot be God my friend the God who says to us that there is a ring you put it in your hand you control the world that is Hori Buter. so how such a God he will tell us about what happened to Jesus and who is Jesus in the top of that we have witnesses from the Muslim families saying that Muhammad was a bewitched prophet so the bewitched prophet who even his sex is fake have you ever even even the sex of Muhammad is fake there's no witnesses look at this the prophet continue for such as such and here you notice they did not add such a such and what they took it off what such and such it doesn't say that kada wa kada etc etc okay for how long he was always like that but look here here muhammad became out of control Muhammad here says the prophet or I should said the prophet continue for such and such a period imagining that he had sex but in fact he did not so Muhammad became delusional to the point even his sex is not real so how a person like this can witness to Jesus who he never met Jesus never saw Jesus he don't speak the language of Jesus he was not one of the disciple of Jesus and he don't worship the same God which Jesus he taught us about which is him so how an idiot who is mentally ill this is mental illness this is not a black magic how such a person who have a mental illness like this coming to us with a flying carpet endless penis women she have a bum in the in the size of one mile Allah will give you a penis will never sleep Allah will give you a woman her ass is one mile uh, uh, how such a pro how such a man even we can call him a prophet prophet of what prophet of the doom this is a prophet and he is the one who will teach me about Jesus and he is the one you want to use his words against all the witnesses of Jesus and against the miracles of Jesus this is the man who says to us I swear by Allah 
that each one of the the lowest one this is the lowest one in the heaven he will marry sorry not marry he will f 72 wives and two from the Huris and Allah will import 70 from the inheritance of the people of hell which means they are hookers who they have desirable front passages which means they have nice breast and vagina this is a prophet of God and this is his God he will have a male member and this translation is trying to be polite you know what I'm talking about I mean you know what I'm talking about I don't want to say the word this is a prophet of God who says to us and your penis will never go flaccid if you believe that this is a prophet you must be mentally ill so don't bring me such a garbage to witness to Jesus this is cannot be from God and this is not God and this is a madman a stupid man sex maniac who is possessed with sexual fantasy even God when he created Adam he created one Eve not 72 Eve and why a man he need more women especially this is heaven what about one woman the same as it was in heaven in the beginning Adam was not satisfied with Eve and not only that Muhammad he go farther with his stupidity and he claimed that in the heaven you will have 80,000 little boys supposedly according to Muslims servant and here you notice that Muhammad he go farther with his fantasy enjoying what it's called the child abuse the least of the people of paradise in position the least that's the bad Muslim is the one with 80,000 servants all of them they are boys young white boys extremely white and by the way I have a good news for you I don't know if it's a good news or bad news your tent you will be in heaven but let you live in a tent yeah Muhammad is a better one he imagine everything as a tent your tent is made from pearl and by the way this tent is the size of it is the same as the distance between Damascus in Syria and Yemen which mean more than a thousand and two hundred kilometer one tent this is just your bedroom just your bedroom so if I want to go from a woman to a woman what I would do there's no cars there what my women is all over okay and now what I would do to visit one of them I have to take a camel for like the, one month this is a bedroom so imagine here you know this guy is trying to fool those savage bedouin savage you know we are the arab we have a tent we sleep in the floor uh you know we take a shower once a month once a, once a year if we if we could not uh, or, you know we, we, our life is tough is rough and now he tried to fantasize and play with the mind of those people and by the way even though he could not really control them muhammad was able to control only when he agreed with the gang the sa'arik which is the outlaw in the West today in the old days we have something called Sa'arik those are criminals are thrown out by their tribes for they are criminals rapists so Muhammad he have a deal with them to make them to make him their leader and he said to them he convinced them now you are a criminal if you join me you are a hero we will do the same we will attack we will rape we will steal but in the name of Allah uh there is a muslim said bible is corrupt as the people of enoch the father of noah what hold on was erased from the bible 
can you make the discuss about this you know here I want to ask this this stupid Muslim if this is a true if this is the reason always when you answer Muslim don't answer them according to Christianity don't waste your time answer him from his question and I will teach you today how to get the Abdul busted easy if the if taking if erasing the book of Enoch from the Bible as he said is a corruption okay where is the book of Enoch in the Quran Are you with me, Kellen? Shoot him with the same bullet. And here we're not talking about violence. The bullet here is the answer or the question. So the stupid he said to you, if this book is taken off, this is a proof that the Bible is corrupt. Well, we cannot find this book in the Quran. Actually, which book of the Bible we can find in the Quran? Zero. <laughs> which one? Which book we can find in the Quran? None. So don't waste your time and try to explain to the Muslim because he is not going to listen anyway. Get him busted from his question. Are you getting the point? For us, any book does not have manuscript. There is many books. Does not have many manuscript to support it. We don't have it. We don't add it. There's a there's a book. It's called the book of Enoch, which is false book Obviously, it's a false book because the numbers are wrong like there's uh, uh, like as an example. There is a uh, I don't know what they call it in English you see I have difficulty sometime in, in to explain uh, Like Imagine I say to you iPad today, you know, what I mean like to say ton ton at that time There was no ton or to say a mile or to say, you know, there's many things, obviously, this is a book written long after, and it's full of madness. As an example, in the book of Enoch, Muhammad, obviously, he stole it from the book of Enoch, the warehouses of God, that God, he have houses, and he store things on there, as an example, ice. And this is why Muhammad in the Quran, he says that in the heaven, there is mountains of ice where Allah take hail from it, and he throw at us. All right? So this is actually proof that the Christians are not people who accept corruption. Otherwise, we will add all the books. We will add Alexander the Great to be a prophet like Muhammad he did. Muhammad, anything is famous around him, he would add him to the Quran. So when they try to accuse us, the, the fact they are not accusing us, the fact they are proving that we are right. We are very careful about what to accept and what to reject. Just to show you something stupid here, this Muslim, he said. He said, <clears throat> in chapter 2, verse number 79, he says, So we, we, to those who write the book with their hands, then say this from Allah, in order to exchange for a smaller price hold on hold on hold on just to show you how stupid this statement is this is a chapter 2 verse number 79 you just get yourself busted because the one who wrote the quran by their hands is the muslims allah in the quran says inna alayna jam'uhu wa quranahu it is on us to collect the Quran and to recite the Quran and Allah neither collect neither recite the one who recite is Jibreel and the one who collect is Uthman so it is you Muslims who write the Quran with your hand do you see the stupidity and with their hands is the Muslims Secondly, the Muslim here trying to say that we are corrupting the Bible, but this will be stupid because this will be a total contradiction for the Quran, where the Quran said that Muhammad he come and he approve the books which is with them. Read carefully, and when they are come to them. The Jews 
a book between two brackets the Quran from Allah confirming what is with them yeah does it say what is with them okay I will go with the stupidity of the Quran so the Quran confirming what is with them can't Muhammad keep one copy from what is with them can't Allah save one copy give it to Muhammad why Muhammad did not keep one copy if what is with them which he confirmed what is with them so I confirm what is with them but what is with them is corrupt with them I mean who is the donkey them so I confirm what is with them but what is with them is not confirmed it is corrupt that's mean the Quran is a corrupt book that's mean this verse is false and many other verses So my friend, when a Muslim he try to uh, fabricate answers, the answer is, is from his Quran. You can spank him easy. Same time, you see, when the Muslim he says the, the Bible is corrupt, okay, I will go with him. Allah book is corrupt, brother. Should, shall we say hallelujah? Muslims, I mean, who is the stupid here? The second you say the Bible is corrupt, you just say to us that the book of your God is corrupt because you Muslims claim that Allah is the one who sent the Injil. So how Allah he sent the Injil, you idiot, and he cannot protect his book? Question. Is the Injil corrupted by Allah will or against his will? If the Muslim, he says, by Allah will, that means Allah, he is the one who corrupted. If he say against his will, that means Allah is not God. Choose one. Which one? Actually, I want all of you to remember this question. Ask the Abdul right away. Was the Bible corrupted? The Bible of Allah. Here we go. Chapter 2, chapter 3, verse number 3. Remember, chapter 3, verse number 3. I think, I think this is easy. Chapter 3, verse number 3. It says that Allah, he sent down the Torah and the Gospel. Okay. When you are saying to me that that gospel is corrupt, the Torah is corrupt, you are saying the the Quran, or the sorry, the Torah of Allah and the gospel of Allah is corrupt. Thank you. So, was it corrupt according to Allah's will or against His will? If He say according to His will, that's mean Allah is the one who corrupted. He's shaitan. If He say against His will, that's mean Allah cannot protect His book. Therefore, He is not God. He's a liar. So, which one? Are we taking notes, Christians? I hope I'm not wasting my time here. My friend, honest to God, I'm taking from my life, from my life, not from my time. And I'm serious, this is from my life. I'm spending my day here helping people. So this is not just an hour or two I spend with you. This is from my life, just to teach you. So please don't make me feel I'm wasting my time. Take notes, learn, so one day you can get the one who tried to accuse you with false accusation busted. Knowledge, my friend, is a priceless. And I'm sharing all my knowledge, all my life with you in a few moments. I, I mean, I spent, I lost my eyes st studying or reading. So please, don't make me feel that I'm talking to myself. Islam is very easy, not only to debunk, but to scattered like dust but if you do not know how you can do it our weakness is our ignorance my friend and the lord he said read the books search the books read and the truth you will find the truth and the truth will set you free so we are set free by the lord and they are slaves of allah we are set free even in the heaven we are going to be the same as angels in heaven in their heaven which is nothing but a sex playboy mansion you will be slave of your private part you will be addicted to sex and food and wine you will be a slave of a slavery because nothing can make you slaves as much as your needs nothing can make you slaves as much as your needs imagine you are free of needs you will never say to anyone sir you will never have a boss 
You will never need money. You will never need food. You will never need houses because you have no needs. You will never need doctors. This is what Jesus, he promised us. He said he and she, they will be the same as angels. And those naive who don't understand what does that mean, that's absolute freedom from being a slave. You are out of needs. You will be happy, not by sex. That is a silly happiness. The happiness of God, nobody can describe. The one who created the joy of sex for us, can't he make us happy without sex? Ask yourself that question. He is the one who created us. He is the one who created that desire inside us. So what kind of God in heaven he make me possessed with sex? And what is love in this sex? Which is very important. You see, when a man and a woman, they are attracted to each other only because of physics. That isn't something normal. This is animal thing. But when there is a man and a woman and they are wife and husband, there's love there. So Allah will bring women, as we showed you, who we never saw, we never met. Even he will import them from the hellfire just because they have nice breasts and nice uh, private part. And he will give them to us just for sex. And Muhammad, he go farther actually, and he says that we are going, those women, they will not have any jealousy which means they are creatures who don't have feeling, no jealousy. They are sex toys. You tell her, take off your panty, she take off her panty. That's it. She has no feeling. She has no jealousy. She has no problem to see you sleeping with all the women around. He will take her jealousy. And he will take the jealousy because Muhammad, he knew those people they were wondering okay you are promising us all those women they will fight there they will get jealous from it. so Muhammad he come with the solution says Allah will take their jealousy how sick emotions and love is not exist in the current in, in Islam actually we have a video you can search for it where a Muslim was saying to me with 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 with, with no shame that in Islam, he can have sex with his mother in the heaven. Do you remember it, guys? In Islam, he can have sex with his mother in heaven. So how this is can be from God? And he was saying to me, why you don't understand? In heaven, there is no sin. And he was talking to me like, I am the stupid ones who don't understand. Like, why you don't understand? What's wrong with you? Well, I, I'm sin. just trying to understand, we my friend. You see, sin. I'm not smart Listen, like you. We think it's in due to our social okay. structure. If, if, the, if Zach and Eric, I'm not trying to insult, by the way. Son, everything comes from God in heaven. No problem. So in the heaven of Allah, you will have a threesome, you and your father and your mother in the bed. Okay. And you don't see that there's something wrong with that. What do you not understand about nothing is sin? <laughs> what do you understand is nothing is sin? That is Islam, my friend. In the heaven, we said to him, you will have sex with your sister, with your mother. So what? Yeah. Why do you understand? Nothing is actually, And he was shouting at me. And then the other Moroccan guy, he called and he was shouting at me. He says, so what? This is heaven. So heaven and Islam that you are going to be happy having sex with anything walking around you, anything, anything walking around you. It doesn't matter who, even your mother, even your sister, even your daughter. That's not only disgusting, that is the devil. This is why actually I have, I made my book, it's called Sex and Allah, because sexuality play a huge role in the cult of Islam. All this cult is about sex. Why the Mujahideen, they want to join ISIS and Al-Qaeda and they want to do suicide bombing. You will see it's a guy, he is going in the car and he's happy. I'm going to do suicide myself, like they are going to be pieces. But he's happy because he will go to the heaven where the women, their panties is off. You don't care for Allah. And you will see in the same video, the Sheikh is saying to him, brother, the virgin are waiting for you, brother. 
The virgins right now are preparing for you your bedroom, brother. And the guy is getting like, what? I cannot wait to go. Why you want to stay in this earth? His life is miserable. He could not even make a high school. He could not make living. You see, you will notice that all those who claim to be leaders for the Muslims organizations, they are the last one to send their children or to do themselves suicide bombing. Only the stupid naive ones is the one they send them in the car. Why Osama bin Laden did not go and suicide himself in the airplane? Why he did not join the Mujahideen? Why he is sitting inside the house and he have five goats and two wives? One of them is a child. And he have satellite TV and he have a TV and sitting in his ass. Why you don't go? Why, why you're a Mujahid? So they send the naive ones to die. Because they themselves, they don't believe in this garbage. The leaders, their leaders don't believe in it. Otherwise, he will be the first one to do it. You see, the apostle of Jesus, they gave their life to preach about Jesus. They did not hide in the middle of nowhere and say to the other Christians, you go. Same exactly as Muhammad. He sent his men to die and he stay home. Coward. Same as Osama bin Laden, same as the leader of ISIS. All of them, they die. And the businessman stay alive. And that is Muhammad. I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. Don't forget, please, to download the video. Share it because we will not keep it. And those who did not watch our video with the brother David Wood and Sam Shamoon and Al-Fadi, we have posted again. It's already twice in the... In my channel actually once is high deficient definition and the one the other one with the chat so if you like to see the chat the older one is with the chat the, the the new one there is no chat we download it thank you very much for being here may the lord bless you and i will see you soon again christ is lord and islam is false thank you